So this piece of cardio equipment is probably the most recognizable in, in almost every gym around the world. The treadmill, it's great for low impact walking on an incline to a jog to a sprint. So I'm just gonna show you now how to set this up. When you first got the treadmill, you'll press start or quick start. Then we have various options on here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to increase the speed and we're just going to do it to a slow, steady walk. So maybe we're going to put that to around about 2.5 miles an hour. From there, we can either increase or decrease the incline. So if we want to walk uphill, we'll simply press the incline up button and we're going to take that up to level three. Studies show that walking on an incline can burn up to twice as many calories as you do when you're walking on a flat. And a treadmill is a great way for you to come in, warm up, cool down, or even do a full cardio-based workout. That's a demonstration of a walk. If we were going to go into a slight jog, we'll just put the treadmill up to about 5.3 miles an hour. Which will just force you into a slight run. Once you've done that, it's really simple. You can either slow it down and go down to a slow walk again, or if at that point you want to stop the treadmill, just simply press the stop button, or in an emergency, pull the cord off, which will completely stop the treadmill right there. Okay, so this is, this is using the lion leg curl, but to do a single leg curl. So to do this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our right foot forward, and we're gonna place our quad on top of this pad. Again, our body's gonna be upright, and I'm going to imagine that I'm bringing my heel right up to my bum. So I'm bringing it up, I'm holding that squeeze there, and bring it back down again. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep my body upright so I'm in the same position. Squeezing it, bringing it back down again. Squeezing it, and bringing it back down again, and really hold that stretch there. Then we've got to do the other leg. So we're going to put our left leg forward. And exactly the same thing again. Hold on to the sides, bring that up. Imagine we're bringing our heel over to our head, taking the full stretch. And we really need to try and contract our hamstrings on this. So we're holding the stretch at the top. There we go, hold that, slowly go down. And as you start to get tired on the hamstring, what you wanna try and do is just try and get a couple of reps out at the bottom like that there, just to really try and get the final few reps out. Okay, so this is an absolutely fantastic exercise for the hamstrings. It's called the lion hamstring curl or lion leg curl. Now we're gonna do this slightly different, all right, because the way this machine has you, I don't think puts the greatest emphasis onto the hamstring. So Ash is gonna lay down, and what it would normally have you do, it would normally have you laid flat on the bench like that. Now, I don't think that gives you as much of a stretch on your hamstrings as what you can actually get. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift Ash's shoulder off. So if you notice a body, a shoulder comes all the way down in one position, from her shoulders all the way down to her heels. So now, what she's gonna do is she's gonna imagine that she's kicking the heel of her foot up over her shoulders. And when she gets to that point, she's gonna hold the squeeze and then slowly control it all the way down and then return it back up again. What you're trying to do is try and get that pad up far enough so that comes up to touch the glutes, hold that squeeze and return it back down again. This is a fantastic exercise. Now on this one, please try and go to a weight that you can lift because it's really, really easy to get cramp or to damage your hamstrings. So please make sure that you're choosing a weight that you can perform if you're going for 10 to 12, try and get there. So we're just gonna do three more. She's holding it up, she's holding the squeeze, she's returning it back down again. One more and just look at her position again, the way she is, her shoulders are up, and as she comes down, she's in one straight plane. Great work. Okay guys, so this one is a seated leg curl. Again, another great hamstring um, exercise. So what Lindsay's gonna do, she's gonna place her feet in between these two pads, and then we're gonna lift it up so she gets her legs nice and straight. That's a starting position. Now, again, I'm gonna slightly change the way you normally sit. So, Lynn, show me the way you would normally sit on this one. 
So the machine would have you sit with your back against there and your hands on the handles and locked in. What I'm going to do is try to put a little bit more emphasis on them hamstrings. So I'm going to lean her chest forward and I'm going to get her to grab hold of the underneath side of the seat. Now what we've got to do on this one is we've got to try and keep our feet in that position and imagine that we're shooting our heel right through to the floor and holding it for a split second. So we'll make the, the first exercise going out. We're holding that squeeze, can you see there? And then we're returning it back up again to get a full stretch on them hamstrings. And then we're gonna go back down, holding that squeeze back up again. And again, look how she's sat forward. She's grabbing all of them seats to try and pull herself in to really squeeze them hamstrings on every contraction. Good work, keep going, give me two more ins. Good work. One more, nice big squeeze. Then to finish this exercise, she'll let the, the pads go right at the top, pressing the button and return it back down again. Okay, so this is the Romanian deadlift. And people sometimes get these confused with a stiff deadlift. There is a difference. So this exercise is the Romanian deadlift. So Ash is gonna get the bar. Now notice on this, we've got her heels elevated. She prefers it this way. You don't have to try it and see whether you prefer it with your heels elevated or without. If you don't have a block, you could use the lat pull down bar to place your heels on. But with the Romanian deadlift, Ash is gonna shoot her glutes back. And notice the curve in the back as she's bending over. She's taking the bar just till she can get that maximum stretch. So you notice she's only been able to get that probably about two inches past the knees. That's because her shoulders are pulled back, her glutes are pushed back. Take that down. Notice how her shoulders aren't dropped forward unlike they do when you're doing a stiff dead. Her shoulders are back. She's got that curvature in there. And as she comes up, she's not going all the way. She's pulling the glutes back. She's lowering the bar down and keep going up. Notice how her shoulders at all times are always pulled back as she's going down, which is keeping that perfect shape and symmetry. So that's a Romanian deadlift, which sometimes does get confused with a stiff deadlift. Please watch both videos to see which one you prefer, both for an exercise in their own right. Okay, so this is how to perform a glute kickback on a multi-hip machine. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the height of the pad is correct and set this pad at the correct distance. So Ash does this on level four, which will be her starting position. So she'll stand on there and this is for a right leg. So as you can see there, that is sat perfectly just behind the kneecap. Now what she's gonna do is she's gonna drive this as if she's driving a foot up to the sky and she's holding it and coming back. And notice her form on this. She's, because she's sitting on level four, it means she can come forward to really stretch that glute before she kicks it back to hold the contraction. Okay, then we're gonna swap legs. Okay, so you'll see this from the opposite side now. She's holding that squeeze, she's making that contraction at the top, and then as she's coming down, she's forcing her knee to go up towards the sky in front of her. Great work, just two more, Ash. One more. Okay, great work. Okay, so this is a hip thrust, but we're gonna do it on the line leg curl machine. This is a great way to try and get hip thrusts if you haven't got a hip thrust machine or you want to change arm from doing it with a bar, this is a great way. So we've got a step box where Lindsay's going to place her feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the pad up first and then watch the way Lindsay's position goes in here. So she's going to spread her feet just a little bit wider apart and she's going to get in position. So what Lindsay's going to do now, she's going to drop the glutes right down to the floor. And as she comes up, she's thrusting up and at that point, she's holding the squeeze on the glutes. She's going to take it right back down again and then back up again and thrust forward. Now, her form on this is absolutely perfect. So she's going to just do three or four more reps so you can see exactly what she's doing here. That's great form. So she's taking it really deep to stretch and then at the top, she's holding that contraction. And all the while, she's 
pushing the weight through the heels of her feet, holding the stretch on every rep. Give me two more ins. Now getting out of this machine can be quite challenging, so I'm going to hold the, the plate for her. But that's a hip thrust on the line leg curl machine, a fantastic exercise for anybody who wants to target them glutes. So this isn't seen in every gym around the world, but it's an absolutely fantastic piece of cardio equipment. It's called the Stairmaster, and it can be absolutely brutal, but so rewarding. You see a lot of professional athletes, particularly bodybuilders, bikini girls, who absolutely love this for the, for the simple fact that it puts a good emphasis on your glutes while you're doing it. So when you do get on this Stairmaster, just press the green button in front of you. What that'll do, it'll release the brake off the revolving staircase. Now, the staircase will move dependent on the user's weight. And all you're gonna do is by turning the level up is release the brake a little bit more, which will allow the revolving staircase to revolve that little bit faster. Ashley uses this daily, so she's a seasoned pro on this machine and she loves it. There's various ways you can use it. You can use it a single step at a time, or she could go on a two steps at a time. So now her feet will miss one tread and take two steps up. You could make it even more advanced by doing a glute kickback as you're stepping up the steps. As I said, this is an absolutely amazing piece of kit and if your gym's got one, you're a really lucky person, so make the most of this. Don't be afraid of it. Start off if you can do one minute and then work your way up to two minutes. And what sometimes we do is we'll do a period of time on this and we'll then put somebody off it, back onto the treadmill and then come back on again. So that way they can work the way up to a level. Uh, Ashley's currently doing around about one hour solid on this. Now, myself, I'll probably do about three or four minutes. It's a hard piece of equipment but so rewarding and so, so, so beneficial to anybody. So I would definitely recommend that you definitely give this a go, give it a try, don't be afraid of it. And just to finish this one off, Ashley's gonna turn the speed up and she's gonna show you now how she can get into a run. And just note this fact as well, on this particular Stairmaster, in the top left-hand corner, there's a picture of a fan. If she presses the picture of the fan, that'll blow cold air at her face. So she's gonna get into a run. As you do get more experience on this, you'll be able to leave go of the handles, but I would recommend you always stay within a balance. As you can see now, Ashley's actually into a run where her arms are moving as well. As her arms are moving, she's burning more calories because more parts of her body are moving. Again, once you're finished on the Stairmaster even, again, press the big red button in front of you and that'll apply the brake to the staircase and allow you to safely dismount and move on to the next exercise.